Hey everyone, welcome to 2023. And this week we're gonna be taking a look at electric vans that can be used for van life. Now, not only are we gonna look at commercially available platforms, but we're also gonna be looking at some other platforms that in the near future might be van life usable. Let's take a look. Now, first up, let's take a look at what's probably gonna be the most popular platform in the electric vehicle market, which is the Ford E Transit. Now, when you're looking at any electric vehicle, obviously the biggest thing you wanna be looking at is the fuel range. And Ford is boasting a 108 to 126 mile fuel range with, with its largest battery. The largest battery that it's talking about is the 68 kilowatt hour battery system. Now, the biggest thing they're boasting with this system is that you can get a 30 mile range in just 10 minutes of charging time. So they're trying to make sure that you can get back on the road quickly with this type of vehicle. The other thing they're trying to do is they're trying to set up uh, a system of charging stations, just kind of like the way that Tesla has already done in the past. Now, the nice thing about Ford coming out with a van, an electric van, is because they're still offering all of the bells and whistles that they do with their regular platforms. So you can choose your wheelbase and your height and all that, and you can make sure that you have the exact type of van you want. Now, what we're really interested in is if you guys actually would want to buy an electric van for van life. So make sure to comment below and let us know if you would even consider an electric van. Now, next up is going to be the E Sprinter from Mercedes Benz, which will probably probably be the most desirable platform on the market. Now, they're offering three battery types with this uh, vehicle and the largest one is gonna get about 93 miles of fuel range. So obviously not as much as the Ford E Transit. Now is a good time to mention that even though a lot of people want an electric vehicle, they're most likely gonna be turned away by the range of the vehicle, especially with the Sprinter being only a 93 mile range total. So I think for now, with this type of variant, uh, not a lot of people will get into van life with this particular model and it'll most likely stick towards more commercial use with uh, shipping uh, for local businesses, stuff like that. Now the e Sprinter is already available in Europe and will be coming to North America in the middle of 2023. So speaking of good fuel range, that brings us to our next model, the Rivian Amazon Prime delivery van or the EDV 700. Now this isn't actually available for purchase for anyone but Amazon at this time. But the reason why I want to mention this is because the build actually fits what a van lifer would want in terms of fuel range and space perfectly. I also want to mention this because maybe in the not so distant future, Amazon might be putting these out to auction when they're done with these vehicle platforms and people like van lifers might be buying them up because they might be a great platform to use. Now let's take a look at some of the specs of this Rivian van. The vehicle is roughly 10,000 pounds and has a wheelbase of 187 inches. Now compared to other vans, this is incredibly heavy, but for good reason. The van can actually reach a maximum fuel range of 201 miles and is also available in all wheel drive configurations. Now, who knows if these vehicles will last the test of time and will actually be available to a uh, different market once Amazon is done with them. But it is worth noting because I think it'll be very interesting to see how people use these when and if they are available. And for our last electric van model, it's one that is more or less conceptual model at this time, and that's the Canoe MPDV. Now this van is specifically focused towards a business owner. So for local deliveries, stuff like that. And there is quite a bit of information out there about the size and dimensions, but let's focus on the range. Canoe estimates that its batteries of 80 kilowatt hours will have a range of about 230 miles and will come with a charger that takes it from 20 to 80% charge in just 28 minutes. So if that's true, that is pretty darn good. And I think that's something that would get people more behind uh, having an electric van just like this one. 
Now you may notice that there's actually no left front door like on a traditional vehicle. And supposedly that's just to accompany the delivery driver a lot better for their computer gear, something like that. Now, as I mentioned before, this is going to be marketed solely for the purpose of businesses and delivery. But I think it's really interesting if someone will get their hands on this for van life because it will start to kind of change the direction of van life. And we'll see in the near future the small niches and areas where people are doing really cool things with platforms just like this one, especially because the look of this vehicle is very different. Now that's it for this week for our electric vehicles for van life, but make sure you comment below because I'm really interested to hear whether or not people would actually consider going into an electric van for van life. And if you haven't yet taken a look at our Ford Transit Trail video, make sure you do because this brand new Ford Transit Trail has some interesting quirks about it. That's it for this week. Safe travels.